destination. That is exactly where we're going. Mm -hmm. Let's do it. Three, two, All right. One, go. And honestly, I believe this is like a really good pick in the sense for like MJG and Timmy Boo because they're not going to have to deal with as many like shenanigans getting caught on the platform or something to where this team by Scruff and uh, uh, <laughs> Hood Life is just going to really benefit from where they can get jank. Most certainly, yeah. They definitely have a jank, for lack of better terms here, aiding them in this match. And I, that could really hurt, obviously, MJG and Sinibu, you know. Sinibu, a very strong shooter, like we kind of talked about before the match start, but, you know, his ability to kill is really what's going to make all the difference in this match. Mm -hmm. Both of these two characters kind of require a lot to get killed. Obviously, MJG needs setups with his projectiles. Sheik just needs a lot to get a kill, especially when a character as big as DK. Oh, definitely so. And, like, compared to these characters who are, they're going to be living, like, very high with rage. Well, maybe not that Donkey Kong, but it's one of those who are, they'll, maybe not that brawler, but it's one of those who are, like, they will die extremely early to where, like, a down throw to upbeat piston punch will kill it about 50 with full rage. Oh, my goodness. And look at the big body that is DK being smacked around back and forth. This is what makes MJG and Steven such a strong combination. Their ability to just capitalize on your weaknesses, but good footstool right there. Yeah, he was trying to read that roll back and do an F smash, but nice job. Yeah, beautiful job there avoiding that. There's a dare sending MJG sky high and into the blast zone. Not a good position here for Sinibu to be in by his lonesome. However, they have Donkey Kong at a very high percent. It's just one of those deals where like, you try to get him distracted or put into an uncomfortable position to where you can just kind of hit him with something hard, <laughs> basically. Most certainly. Boom. Low percent DK combos coming out. Beautiful DI, though, to get out of there. There's the nice bouncing Nice read on the air dodge. Yeah. Took that completely away from him. There's the grab back throw. And now, basically, MJG and City Boo are just going to be allowed to kind of run away with it, mm -hmm. especially with the final destination. There is no cover, no relent from the projectiles, the hitboxes that they can throw out. Mm -hmm. And especially when you have two characters like Donkey Kong and Me Brawler that traditionally have a lot of trouble approaching and dealing with projectiles, dealing with like strong hitboxes like Sheik Fair. It's going to be really difficult for him. Yeah, most definitely. We're starting to see that come out right now as you see the green team kind of retreating a bit, kind of slowing the pace this match down. And I'm not going to lie, I feel like the, pet, the match kind of started out on a very aggressive tone, and I think that was courtesy of the red team. You know, you know what they're looking for. And you know, they're going to try their hardest to get it. Definitely so. And it's also one of those things where, like, you can never count them out just because they can kill at such low percents, mm -hmm. especially with all the rage that they have, like, tacked on. Scruff, we're looking for a lot right now. Of course, he wasn't looking for enough, so his partner ends up getting back thrown into the abyss. Now, here we go. Got ourselves a 2v1 situation. He has quite a bit of ground to make up here. Yeah. Definitely so. And the thing is, is that, like, anything that he tries to go for for a kill, uh, Brawler has to commit, and as soon as he tries, he's going to get molly -whopped. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. I didn't think he have a losing. jump. Yeah, yeah, he ended up losing a jump. That's unfortunate to see. Yeah, I want to touch on something I've seen there for MJG that I really like. He's yeah. using, like, his uh, Zare to really keep him in a very uncomfortable position. Even though, obviously, we know Zare doesn't do a lot, it still keeps you in, uh, in stun. So, obviously, you know, your teammate can come in for a um, 2v1 punish. Right, definitely so. Just wonderful play by both MJG and Sydney Boo. Mm -hmm. Just utilizing their character strength, just keeping both of them out, and managing to find the kills that they need. All right, now we've got, oh, we're actually switching. Ooh, little Mac, that's going to be fairly dangerous. Like, you see all the is hitboxes. He really, oh, he's really doing it. Yeah, he's really doing it. Uh, the poor recovery of Little Mac is going to be, like, he's a double-edged sword, especially in doubles, because you have to deal with so many just obstacles, so many hitboxes that can fly out. And little if uh, Young Link throws a bomb off stage, you're dead. You are most certainly dead. Toon Link, not Young Link. But, you know, Little Mac definitely has his place in doubles, too, and that's something I kind of want to key in on as well, too. You know, you, people see Little Mac in singles or doubles or crew bows or whatever, whatever version of Smash you're playing, and people just automatically... Oh, no, that, he's like, dead! He's... Oh, oh the hitbox! To, yeah, being able to get out of there immediately. Yeah, it's a good thing. Scrap was off on his positioning. He's dead. Or CMB was dead, yep. Yeah, see you later, dude. <laughs> Bye bye, Lil Mac. So one thing Lil Mac's really gonna have to do here in this matchup, he's gonna have to obviously stay towards the middle of the stage. I think you know we all know that just playing Smash 4. We need to see more 
We need to see more up tilts. Up tilt is a very strong tool of his. We need to see more down tilt and down smash. It's like you want to just kind of like abuse that super armor that Mac has to have so many things just kind of thrown out, so many strong hitboxes to where your opponent just kind of gets stuck in the corner. And Scruff going out to save his partner. Okay, high recovery, obviously not being able to snap the leg. That's one of the flaws that Lil Mac has. Yeah, nah, she is not dead just yet. If it was like the middle platform up on the top, like she would have been dead at 20. Yeah, she would have been dead. We would have seen the red spark. Oh, try to catch the roll. KO punch is online though. As you know, Lil Mac can make some magic happen here. And as you see, starting to hug that stage, looking to stick it to yeah, Cindy he right now. Just letting the rip, getting a bomb the face for trouble. There's a down throw. Now, as you know, you know, both characters on the red team have some pretty beautiful combos off the top. Um, you know, up special, very strong move in their arsenal, four and kills. Just has to make sure it's the right percent. Boom. Oh, I thought he was going to go for it. Yeah, I thought he was going to go so for the follow-up. It's a little bit off on his reaction time. You know, speaking of off, this match is way off here, man. Green team sitting at five stocks. Red team sitting in a very uncomfortable three. They definitely have a ton of work to make up here. But as we know, both these two characters can kill at the drop of a hat. Especially on town in the city. Yeah. Just, and there we go. That side beat. Similar to Captain Falcons, except it's a multi hit and a much worse hitbox. Oh, he is looking for it. <laughs> wow. Yeah, didn't get the right hitbox on the up beat. You know, it almost makes you wish that they would have ran this combination in game one and then switched to DK this time. Oh, game. definitely so. Just kind of like throw them off. Okay. Starting to shorten the lead here a little bit. The name of the game here is. Oh my. Ooh, he, I'm pretty sure he was dead. Yeah, he like, was no doubt. All yeah. of that rage, town and city. Okay, up smash. Giving himself a little bit of space to breathe here, but on the ledge of the stage, not a good position to be in at all. Okay. And did he give him his teammates, excuse me, a little bit of coverage? That's going to be all she That's wrote, it. Though. Yep. Just a really good performance, just about dominating from Sinibu and MJG. Yeah.